The last way we're going to solve systems of equations, last method is with elimination. Now, if you look at number one, please don't write what I'm about to write. But number one could be solved with substitution. You could pick one of the equations and you can get x or y by itself. Uh, here, we'll do number two this way. Again, don't write this, just look at it for a second. If you want on this first one, you can get the x by itself, like you could add 6y to the other side, and that would give us 2x equals 6y plus 4, and then you can divide everything by 2, so that would give us x equals 3y plus 2, and then you can do substitution, put this in the other equation for x, do 2 times y plus 2 uh, minus 11y equals negative 16. You distribute, we got 6y plus 4 minus 11y equals negative 16. You combine your like terms, that gives us negative 5y plus 4 equals negative 16. We subtract the 4, negative 5y equals negative 20. We divide by negative 5y equals 4. We substitute it back in. Look, x equals 3 times y plus 2. 3 times 4 is 12, plus 2 is uh, 14. So our coordinate here would be 14, 4. Ridiculous work to get that. I'm going to leave that coordinate there. Because I'm going to show you another way. The new method today, elimination. Elimination works very well when you have the x and y on the same side of both equations, and it works great if the x's match up or the y's match up. If we look at example one here, if I was to add everything straight down, 3x plus 7x is 10x. 5y plus negative 5y is no y. It's almost been eliminated. Negative 19 plus 39 is 20. Look at that equation. 10x equals 20. We almost have x already. We just have to divide by 10. x equals 2. We set it back into one of the two equations and solve. I don't care which one. Let's do the first one. 3x x's or the y's have to match up, and you want one to be positive and one to be negative. The nice thing is, if it's not, this one was set up already that way, but even if it's not, you can force it to be that way. If you look at number two, the x's match up, but they're both positive 2x. So if I was to add straight down, that would be 4x. We're trying to eliminate a variable. If I subtract them, 2x minus 2x, then they're eliminated. So what I do when I have them matched up, but they're both positive or they're both negative, I just pick one line and I multiply by negative one, aka I just make everything its opposite. It doesn't matter which line you do it. Let's say I did it to the second one, negative 2x, positive 11y, positive 16. As long as you're changing the entire equation, you're good. We multiplied the whole thing by negative one. Now, 2x minus 2x, Negative 6y plus 11y is 5y. 4 plus 16 is 20. We can divide both sides by 5. y equals 4. We still need to figure out x. You could use the original equations, or you can use the one that we changed. I'm going to go with the original number 1. 2x minus 6y equals 4. the 
same thing we got the other way. Does this work though? IMO is significantly easier. So I like elimination the best. But hey, to each their own. So again, this works great when the X and Y are on the same side. Even better when the X's or the Y's match up. If you look at number three, neither one matches up but we can alter them however we want. We can multiply the whole equation by something to get it to match up. Sometimes you can multiply just one of them. Sometimes you might want to multiply both of them. And it doesn't matter if you get the X's matched up or the Y's. If I look at number three, I'm trying to think what's the easiest way I can get there. I could get the four to be 12, right? Four times three is 12. So I can multiply this whole line by three and then we're matched up. And it is nice. We'll have a positive and a negative, so it'll cancel out. So this whole line times three would be 12x minus 27y equals, four times three is 12. I'm just gonna rewrite the other one underneath it now. Negative 12x plus 10y equals 56. And now we're good. The x's are gonna cancel out. The y is negative 27 plus 10 is negative 17. 12 plus 56 would be 68. Negative 17y is 68. We'll divide by negative 17 on both sides. And we get y equals negative 4. Still need x. Now we have three options to choose from. Original two equations or the new one where we multiply it. It doesn't matter. Almost every time I pick one of the originals just because they're smaller numbers, uh, but they all work. Let's say I went with the first equation, the 4x minus 9y equals 4. 4x minus 9y, y is negative 4, equals 4. Negative 9 times negative 4 is positive 36. If we subtract 36 from both sides, 4 minus 36 is negative 32. And then we can divide both sides by 4, and we get negative 8. So our coordinate is negative 8, negative 4. So sometimes you don't have to multiply either one. Sometimes you could just go through and make everything the opposite. In this case, we had to multiply one of them. Another option, like if I look at this, 4 doesn't go into 6, 8 doesn't go into 12. So we're going to have to multiply both equations. Now, the easiest method I've seen, and again, don't write this yet, because this isn't what we're gonna do, but this is what you can always do if you forget. You can take the numbers in front and just flip them. So I can multiply the top line by four, the bottom line by six, and it'll be fine. Now, you do want one positive, one negative, easy fix. You can also do that with the y's. You could do the top one by eight, the bottom one by 12, and again, you want one of them to be negative, doesn't matter which one, that'll work too. Our whole goal is to get them to be the same number, to cancel out. So like six times four is 24. You can make them both 24x or negative 24x. However, there's an even smaller number that they both go into. We can make them both 12x. That would be six, times two and four times three. Now we do want one of those to be negative 12. Doesn't matter which one, boop, makes no difference. So top line times two would be 12x plus 24y equals 22. The second line times negative three would be negative 12x minus 24y equals if we look here, 12x minus 12x, gone. 24y minus 24y, also gone. 22 plus 15 is 37. 0 equal 37? No, so this is another one of those special cases. If it's not true, that's your no solution. If it was 0 equal 0, that's your IMS, baby! Try it out. You gotta play around with it. You'll get it though. Elimination is 